In the annals of television history, few shows have woven a tapestry as rich and enigmatic as Dark Shadows. Picture, if you will, a world where the gothic and the supernatural don't just flirt with the edges of reality, but immerse themselves fully in the lives of those they touch. This was the world of Dark Shadows, a realm born from the mind of Dan Curtis, a visionary who dared to tread where few in the realm of daytime TV had ventured before. The tale begins in the quaint, seemingly unremarkable town of Collinsport, Maine. Here, the grand estate of Collinwood stands as a silent sentinel, harboring secrets as old as its foundations. It was 1966, a time of change, and into this world stepped a young woman, Victoria Winters, her past shrouded in mystery, her future entwined with the enigmatic Collins family. Dark Shadows, as chronicled by the scribes of IMDb, was a journey through 1 times 125 episodes, a saga that spanned from 1966 to 1971. The show, initially cloaked in the garb of a traditional gothic mystery, soon revealed its true colors with the arrival of a character who would become synonymous with the series itself. Barnabas Collins, a vampire portrayed with a haunting depth by Jonathan Frid. Barnabas was a creature of the night, yes, but also a tragic figure, a man out of time, wrestling with his cursed existence. His arrival marked a turning point for Dark Shadows, transforming it from a soap opera into a cult phenomenon where ghosts walked, witches plotted, and curses unfolded in the light of day. The cast around Barnabas was no less remarkable. There was Angelique Bouchard, a witch whose beauty was matched only by her cunning. Josette Dupre, the lost love of Barnabas, whose fate was intertwined with his own. And Quentin Collins, a man haunted by his own demons, portrayed by the charismatic David Selby. The performances, often melodramatic, were a perfect fit for the heightened reality of dark shadows. The actors, working under the relentless pressure of a soap opera schedule, brought to life characters that were larger than life, yet undeniably human in their desires, fears, and flaws. The world of dark shadows was one of shadows and light, crafted on a budget that would seem meager by today's standards. Yet within these constraints, the show created an atmosphere that was both eerie and enchanting. The switch from black and white to color in 1967 only added to its allure, painting the shadows with hues as dark as the secrets they hid. Mistakes were made, of course, a boom mic here, a line flubbed there, but these blemishes only added to the show's charm, a reminder of the human endeavor behind the supernatural facade. The legacy of dark shadows is as enduring as the Collins family curse. It was a pioneer, a pathfinder in the world of television, bringing the supernatural into the daylight of American homes. It inspired merchandise, novels, comic books, audio dramas, and even a 2012 film adaptation by Tim Burton, with Johnny Depp donning the cloak of Barnabas Collins. But more than that, Dark Shadows was a harbinger of change, a show that reshaped the landscape of television storytelling. It showed that the fantastical and the everyday could coexist, that a soap opera could be more than just affairs and scandals. It could be a canvas for telling stories as deep and dark as the shadows themselves. In the end, Dark Shadows was not just a show. It was a journey into the unknown, a dance with the supernatural. It was a story of love and loss, of curses and redemption. A story that, like the immortal Barnabas Collins, endures in the hearts of those who ventured into the shadows.